everybody knows something about the platypus. It has a bill like a duck, it has a tail like a beaver, it lives in rivers and it's very cute. But how many people know that it has no stomach, no teeth, is carnivorous, has a venomous spur that causes intense pain for weeks, lays eggs, sweats milk, is blind and deaf underwater, senses its prey using electrical receptors in its bill, disguises itself as a rock, can dig burrows 20 to 30 metres long. The plural is not platypi but platypuses, and they glow blue under ultraviolet light. Also, there is no collective term for the platypus, as they're not usually seen together in any numbers. It was hunted for its fur until the 1920s, can slow its heartbeat to 1.2 beats per minute. Tasmanian platypuses are much larger than those on the mainland, and their babies are often called puggles. The light patch of fur under the platypus's eye is to fool predators that the eyes are open. The platypus family dates back more than 60 million years, and the echidna most likely evolved from the platypus. Oh, and in addition to all this, it stores its prey in cheek pouches like a squirrel, eats about 20% of its body weight per day, swims at around 1.4 kilometers per hour, and their skeletons have many reptile-like features that are not found in any other mammals. Whew. Add all this together, and you have one crazy mixed up animal that works. No wonder that when the first preserved specimen was sent back to England, some scientists there thought it was a hoax, cut it open and looked for the stitches where the bill had been attached by a prankster. Needless to say, there were no stitches. This was no hoax and the animal with all those features mentioned can be seen swimming in rivers today if you are very lucky. And why lucky? Well, the platypus is very close to being considered an endangered species and indeed already is in South Australia. While we seem to have healthy populations of them here in Tasmania, you can do your part to help keep it that way. And it's quite simple. When you open a plastic bottle of milk or juice, cut the round seal apart. When you dispose of elastic bands, hair bands or packing material, cut it first. This will not only help the platypus, but any other creature that could get caught up and die a horrible death. It really is that easy. And you can know that you have helped.